This exhibit is uh, represented by Picture Burke, which is a digital photograph um, preservation project of the library here in town, and we are happy to be able to share these pictures. These are photographs that have been donated through the years by various citizens. Um, the exhibit mostly represents the time period from about 1900 through the 50s and 60s. One of the neat um, aspects of our exhibit that I like is that we have shown some of the exterior and interior pictures of businesses that were in the area, such as the Betty Lou shop here behind me. It gives you an idea of what the businesses were like inside and what it was like to go shopping. Um, so we're just glad we were able to do this exhibit and we hope everybody will come out and see the photos. These are some of my favorite photographs in the whole exhibit. These two are special. They were taken right near City Hall. You can see the parsonage for Gaston Chapel through here on this one. But, and wouldn't it be wonderful if gas was still 19 cents a gallon? Picture Burke is in the, as you know, is in the North Carolina room at the library. We welcome photographs. If you'd like to share them with, with us, you can bring them in and we'll try to scan them when, while you're there. If you can't, then we'll do them as quickly as possible and get them back to you. But they add a wonderful piece of history for, to Burke County. And if anybody desires copies of any of these photos, or one's other images that we have in Picture Burke, they can be obtained in the North Carolina room at the library. There's a nominal charge, and it depends on the size of the pictures. We ha now have almost 4,400 images in Picture Burke, so it's gotten to be pretty sizable. There are a few duplicates, but particularly when two different people have brought them in, we just keep them both. So. But on whole, most of them are pretty unique. But mainly the trouble we have is trying to identify people in the photographs. Uh, there's a picture down here on the wall that was taken up in the old city hall that was next to the community house. And one person 
is identified. But anyway, I spend lots of time going to visit people and saying, who are these folks? <laughs>